Hey guys, welcome back to Slice of Gaming. I'm the only Python 4. This is Mario Kart Double Dash for the Nintendo GameCube, and this game is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. So the last team that we have left in our souped-up baby stroller is Baby Mario and Baby Luigi. How they have licenses and can drive this souped-up baby stroller? Video game logic. It makes as much sense as a monkey driving, or a dinosaur driving, or a demented human thing, aka Wario and Waluigi driving. We'll just kind of go with it. It's Mario Kart. Anything can happen, as you can see. As you can see. Out of the way, Koopas. That was probably you. I know it was you. Who else had that many shells? Oh no, make the jump! Good. Sometimes if there's an item right at the very end of that ramp, you won't quite clear the jump. It sometimes can be very special and very annoying. And no! Why am I suddenly surrounded by heavy weights? I'm a little baby, don't push me off the edge. Hey! Child abuse. Oh, we'll catch up, don't worry. We will catch up. I'm not concerned about that. First place will be mine. See, we caught up already. I saw that banana peel go right over my head, whoever threw that. Thank you, probably Peach and Daisy, for your bitch titsness. Okie dokie, we are catched up. Caught up. My English will be appropriate. We are, uh, safe for now. Even though Waluigi and Wario are right behind us. Hey! There you go. I should have saved that red shell. Might have been a good idea. Oh well. We'll see what happens. Hey! There. There's your red shell for you. I thought that was a lightning bolt for some reason. I was like, what the hell's going on? I'm not gonna make the ramp now. But never mind, it was their own bomb was pure genius, by the way. Kudos. Looks like we'll be uh, smooth sailing till uh, the finish line. Wario Grand Prix. Wario Kart. Hmm. Super Wario. Uh -oh. I wonder if he's trying to tell us anything. Hmm. We should make another decent Wario game, perhaps? Other than Wario Land Shake It? I think, I think Wario needs to get away from those WarioWare games. It's just like Mario Party. Except without the board game. <coughs> and just like I said, we are smooth sailing right till the end. So let's revisit the next racetrack. Dino Dino Island or Dino Dino Island or Dino Dino Jungle Island thing with bouncing trees. So let's see if I can show off those bridge paths that I did not show off before. The bottom one can be rather dangerous and I will take that one right away just because that seems like a smart thing to do. And maybe I can also show off these two special items which is very fond in my heart. As in, I have lots of memories. Whoa! 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 Aw, we almost made it! Whoa! 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 That's okay. Maybe we can show off their special item. Which I love! Absolutely love! Don't- don't even! Don't even! Aw, yeah, oh, we can. Of those star powers, I, I guess we'll settle for star power. I guess. Get, get away from me. Well, we'll show off these two special items eventually. May not be now, might be later. And there's a sunflower in the bushes. That was kind of strange. We, we need some catching up to do since we fell. Where are those two? Oh, they're not too far in front. They're actually right there in front of me. Here, boys. Fall off. No! 
I thought she was gonna push me off. I was gonna scream and cry and... <gasps> oh, that was dangerous. Live dangerously, I guess. But let me tell you a tale of Pi's Mario Kart past. Let me tell you a story all about Mario Kart and my history with Mario Kart. And as we clean up the road for everyone. Mm -hmm. Road cleaners, that's what we are. So, I've grown up on both this Mario Kart and the Nintendo 64 one. And I used to play with my dad about every second day. And when we did, it would just get kind of over the top ridiculous. Like, there'd be teams, like he'd be the heavyweight teams. This is the Nintendo 64 one. And then I'd be all the lightweights and everybody else. And then he'd make me be a British announcer by the name of Ingrid. Yeah, it was kind of interesting and special, but it was fun, fun memories. And then this game we played quite a bit too. He'd be the, the Koopas, while well, I was just my usual little babies. He'd be Wario a lot in Mario 64, and he'd hate that I'd pick Toad all the time, because everybody knows that Toad's goddamn annoying in that game. Alright, let's go revisit Bowser's Castle. This has to be one of my favorites. I don't know why I like it a lot, it's just fun. Especially when you're fighting, or not fighting, but racing against a human player and they also know that shortcut I, that I showed you guys the first time. It can just get fun. This game's much more fun with a second player. But unfortunately I don't have anybody that's willing enough to come on with me and do this sort of thing with me. At least in person, anyways. So, we'll just have to go solo. Right, computer baby Mario and baby Luigi? That's right, Pi! I knew you guys were one step behind me the whole way. Wait, 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 did I just talk for kid? Wow, I'm going crazy. We have no friends. I should get my dad to help me with this, that'd be awesome. Except he wouldn't in like 10 seconds. Ooh, we just made that. That was dangerous. If we didn't have the mushroom, I don't think we would have. And I just throw right in between those item boxes. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And Waluigi and Warrior are staying on my tail a little bit more. C buttons in this game don't do anything, I don't think, no. Whoa! Okay, now it's a- Whoa! Close race. I was- whew, Thought I was gonna fall off there. Excuse me, bitch! Oh, we couldn't get that mushroom. Okay, let's relax. As those two fight for uh, second place. Items for you. There, now we're a little bit more relaxed, I think. No. There. Yep, much more relaxed now. I think I'll just take the regular path the next time. I won't take the shortcut. Just to be fair, just to be nice and honest and not mean. Yeah, they're they're behind me now, so I am much feeling better. That was great English. I like how the signs in this level are all evil eyed. It's the signs in any other level are just nice and regular phase. Why are you so angry at me, signs? I didn't do anything to you. That's just mean. This should be, yep, it's the final lap. I'll actually pay attention this time instead of being like, oh, it's the last lap.
There. And somehow his hat's shining. I'm not sure why. And once again, we get to revisit Rainbow Road. Let's see if there's going to be any more chaos this time around. Don't even think about it. Don't. Don't do it. Okay. Sometimes characters like to push you off at the very beginning of the stage, especially if they're a heavyweight, or right here. Or right here. Or any sort of tight turns. I'm going to... I was going to say, I'm going to keep that, but I ended up not doing so because I thought there was going to be something coming at me. Okay. Careful with this part. Careful. Careful while we hit all the boosters. Or hit none of them. That works too. Hey, no. No. There you go. Stay away from the children, older men. Two bananas. It's not very often that you get two of the exact same item. I have to say. Put one right here to be a jerk. Maybe they'll fall off. Let's, let's find out. Will they? Will they? Nope. They made it safe. Maybe I should put it slightly to the right this time. Let's try it here. I like being a jerk like that and putting traps out all over the place. I'm kind of a bitch. No. No. I said no, game, but whatever. I think we'll be okay till the, till the end. You can kind of tell when nothing's gonna happen. They're, they're far behind us for one thing, and then we don't have to worry about anything else. Oh, and I forgot to mention that in Mario Kart 64, there's a chain chomp running around in this lap. Or in this lap. In this course that you have to watch out for. He won't be displayed on the map, he'll just kind of come at you randomly. You'll be like, hello! I'm running around this course because I can in space. Just because, why not? And does anybody notice in the town below us that there's happened to be a racetrack just like right above them? Like look up into the sky at night to see the stars, so like, huh, there's people racing up there. How the hell did they get there? But I don't think anybody seems to question that here in the Mario world. I mean, in Paper Mario, we just shoot a cannon into space and nobody seems to question the logic behind that. Or wonder why. No one does anything about Bowser's castle floating right next to them. Oh, Mario Kart and Mario games. Why don't you question these things? I mean, if you guys looked up into the night sky and you saw this, you'd be like, what the fuck? How do I'd be like, how the hell do I get up there? I want to see what that is. Wouldn't the plane, like, crash into this too? It's like floating in midair. How does it stay up here? Oh, wait, it's a rainbow. Never mind. Answer that question. Sailing long to the finish. Sometimes just staying in first can be a little bit boring. Sometimes I like to slow down and cause my own chaos. Sometimes cause my own demise, so to speak. But don't worry, we'll be seeing a lot more calamity and mayhem, especially in the 150 classes. Sue? Mario? Baby Mario? Shall we finish this off? I like how he's got the one tooth. Okay, so to the award ceremony and we drive around in Toadsworth fancy car. Get another special cup to add to our trophies. Watch the credits that we don't want to watch right now. And let's see what we get, more importantly. What's our main prize? Who cares about the trophy? What do we get? Hey, what do you know? Toad is in this game. Awesome. 
So we are going to start the 150 races when I get back, so I'll see you guys then.